So right now, one of the, the, the theories behind uh, the increased rate of anxiety and depression that we see with, in some individuals with PKU is that it might be related to the impact that PKU has on serotonin. And I go back to some of the older animal studies that had uh, basically a rodent model of, PK, of untreated PKU. And they would raise these, in studies I'm thinking of, they raise these, these mice or these rats with PKU um, and then sacrifice them and look at the resulting levels in the brain of dopamine and serotonin. And the study that I have in mind actually saw bigger decreases in serotonin than dopamine. So in fact, the serotonin in that study at least was impacted more than the dopamine. Um, and when we think about things like anxiety and depression, really serotonin is the, neuro, the main neurotransmitter that we think of as sort of modulating that, consistent with this idea that um, in a general population, we treat anxiety and depression, one of the major treatments is SSRIs, right? Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. And so again, that's very theoretical. We haven't crossed those T's and dotted those I's and, and directly linked it, but that's, that's the idea. So if we can bring phenylalanine down, that decreases the competition between the, the phenylalanine and the tryptophan to get into the brain and now we can have typical levels of serotonin because there's nothing inherently wrong with the tryptophan to serotonin system in PKU. It's just the phenylalanine is disrupting that system.